Hi there Aquarius and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is going to be your tarot forecast for the month of November. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them out in the Celtic Cross. Let's see what's going on for Aquarius. First up, we have the Eight of Swords reversed, followed then by the Ace of Cups in the upright. And next we have the Major Arcana Temperance in the reverse, followed then by the Page of Wands upright. And next we have the Three of Wands in the upright, followed then by the Nine of Cups upright. And next we have Major Arcana of the Moon in reverse, followed by the Seven of Cups upright. And next we have the uh, Six of Wands reversed. And lastly, we have Major Arcana of the Fool in the upright. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and interpret this read for you guys. First of all, Aquarius, for your overall energy, you have that of the Eight of Swords in the reverse position. The Eight of Swords reversed, I much prefer to see this energy reversed as opposed to upright. When it's upright, we feel trapped. And this is a lot of times our own mind making us feel trapped where we feel that we can't get out of a situation and it's going to be different for all of you because it's just a general read but for some of you you could be could have been feeling trapped in uh, a job situation in a home situation in a relationship um all that kind of energy but it's being released now isn't that nice um this sees you coming out of that feeling of trapped. It could be that uh, an opportunity has come up that helps you out to get out of that situation that you were in. It could be um, that your your own mind is no longer uh, torturing you with thoughts of um, feeling trapped in a situation. So either way you slice it, good for your overall energy, uh, Aquarius. And it's, it's crossed by the Ace of Cups in the upright. Ace of Cups is beautiful energy, Aquarius. It's really nice to have this as your crossing energy. This will be sort of floating around throughout the month of November for you. This is feeling really emotionally fulfilled uh, on, a, on a really nice level. For some of you, this could represent a new child or grandchild uh, being born or brought into the family. This could represent a new love coming towards you, uh, that spark of new love where it just comes out of the anti-cosmos, so to speak. Uh, this could be even representing self-love. Maybe a lot of you are, um, you know, learning to, you know, appreciate yourself. And that's always a good start because when we start to appreciate ourselves and feel emotionally fulfilled, that's when we can bring in more love into our existence. So very nice energy so far. So good, Aquarius. In your past foundation, this could have been something from a couple weeks ago or a couple months ago. You have the energies of Major Arcana Temperance in the reverse position. Temperance upright, this is when we're blending and mixing things uh, together and everything is working in harmony. When the card is reversed, this could be representing a disharmony in an area of your life. Maybe a couple weeks ago or a couple months ago, you were feeling uh, a little bit off balance, uh, not quite... Um, uh, just maybe feeling like things were just not fair and not balanced out. Uh, this is, but this is your past energy, which is good because this is, this is already gone by now. So whatever it is, uh, it's going to be different for all of you. There was a, a lack of balance or something could have gone out of balance in a relationship or at work or something like that, which would explain why the um, Eight of Swords was at one point upright. Um... Coming into the month of November, leaving October, you have the energies of the Page of Wands in the upright position. This is really lovely energy. I do like the Page of Wands. It is a court card, so it could be representing a person. If it's representing a person, this is fire energy, that of Aries, Leo, Sag, Sun, Moon, or Rising, male or female. Um, the Page of Wands is in bringing in an exciting message. He could be bringing a message to you that you've been long awaiting. This could be representing maybe for some of you a new love coming on the scene who's sending you a message. Uh, the Page of Wands can, he, Wands also govern travel, so this could be exciting news about travel, exciting news about an offer possibly coming towards you. It's just, it's just the initial stage, it's the message of uh, good things to come. So. 
good things are coming towards you. <laughs> and that energy gives way in the early part of um, November to the Three of Wands in the upright position. I told you good things are coming. The Three of Wands is amazing energy. I love it. It's very forward moving, very progressive. This is where um, we have taken the initial idea of the initial spark and we're taking that ball and we're running with it we're building something we're building towards something uh, a really good structure for some of you this could be representing a relationship maybe you're building on a brand new relationship others of you could be building on a project or building a home or building um, um, uh, on a new career it's that type of energy very forward moving and very progressive and around the middle of the month, around the middle of November, we have the energies of the Nine of Cups in the upright position. Well, pick your wish, Aquarius. The Nine of Cups is beautiful energy. Um, this is about, you know, having a, a prized wish come into manifestation for us. We've, we've wished, we've uh, manifested it in the, the magician energy and now it's coming to pass. It's something that you could have wanted. It's going to be different for all of you. For some of you, this wish could be about a relationship. For others of you, it could be about a job or about a home situation or education or career, anything like that. It's just a, a prized wish that you've been waiting for for a very long time. You've got your wish card, plus you also have your um, exciting message coming in very nice to see for you guys remember this is also celebratory energy so just don't celebrate too hard because it can represent a little bit of excess as well now you internally how you could be feeling over the next 30 days not necessarily the uh, face you show to the world you have major arcana the moon in the reverse position the moon upright this is a little bit of illusionary, confusing energy. This is when, you know, we're not really sure what things are. We're just sort of, um, we're assuming things at this point, or we're, um, we're hoping things are like that. It's a little bit of deceptive energy can represent self-deception or somebody being deceptive with us. It's very confusing energy when it's in the upright. However, when it's inverted like this, we're coming into clarity. We're starting to see things exactly for what they are and not for what we imagine them to be. So you're seeing things in the month of November, Aquarius, very, very clearly. So nice to have that for uh, in that position. Now in your people environment, how people could be viewing you in the month of November, this is the Seven of Cups in the upright position. Seven of Cups is, is and this is in your environment position, so this can also represent your actual environment as well. Uh, this is about maybe people in your environment are bringing lots of opportunities and options to you. This is about having a lot of opportunities, a lot of options, but it, again, it's very Neptunian energy. It's very similar to the moon in the upright position. When the Seven of Cups is here, we have to look very closely at the opportunities and the options that are presented to us. We have to go through them with a fine tooth comb because not all of the options are actually viable or something that we ultimately want long term. So people are seeing you as someone with a lot of options and there could be people in your environment who are offering you a lot of opportunities and options. Better to have a lot than to have none, right Aquarius? And your hopes and fears position, you have the six of wands in the reverse position. Now, this is a fear, not necessarily anything that's going to play out during the month. But the six of wands upright, this represents uh, a victory card. This is about getting a lot of uh, attention, pats on the back, work well done, that kind of energy. When it's in the reverse position, this could be feeling like um, a lack of... Uh, of victory and a lack of um, attention but this is just a fear remember so maybe some of you are just fearing that uh, you won't have a victory with all these options and these things coming towards you I think it looks very good there's a lot of progression going on here your wish is manifesting there's good messages coming through so this is definitely just a fear something probably will not be playing out for most of you in the month and the last card you have that closes out the read and close out the month for you is the amazing energies of the, the fool in the upright position. The reason I call it amazing energy is because the fool is all about brand new beginnings. It's like a new journey. It's like a lot of you could be embarking upon something really new. And I find that amazing. I really like new beginnings uh, when we're taking that leap of faith. It can be a little scary sometimes and a little unnerving. But at the same time, that leap of faith can feel really, really good. 
it's a little bit risky energy, the Fool, because we are embarking upon something that perhaps we've never done before. So it can be a little bit scary and a little bit risky, but nonetheless, we all need to take that first step towards something, especially if it's something that we really wished for, Aquarius. So I hope this reading helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Otherwise, I will see you next time, and have a wonderful month, Aquarius. Okay, take care. Bye-bye for now.